Holy! So I'm up today with Mike from Texas Fishing Force. We rode the ferry cross to Port Bolivar out here in the marsh as you can see and today I'm gonna to be talking to redfish. Hopefully I'll be able to get on some reds. This is the first time I've come out here. I've managed to spook a few. So don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share and hopefully you catch me hooking up. Right there. Woo! All the way. Big red just blew behind me and ran. You could see you could see him torpedoing. I hate that. That's all I've been doing the last couple months. That's all I've been doing. I just get reds. I don't actually catch them. I thought I just ran in a school of reds. I got dust clowns all around me. One, two, three, four, five, six. I was I put this top on and it looked like someone was chasing it. So I started slowing down. I guess I drifted right into them not realizing it. All right, so typically I throw a four horseman cork, but I'm gonna try this Phillips Tackle Company Woody. Pretty cool, got pretty cool design, kind of little skull on top. Nice bead, sounds nice and... This is a quieter one. There's, they make different kinds with bigger beads on it. This is a quieter one. I'm going with the quieter cork just because we've been scaring off all the reds. And on this cork, I'm gonna put a voodoo shrimp. Now I'm just going to tie a simple knot, make a little loop, come through there like that, bring that in, come back to my little area, my little hole that I made with the loop, wrap around five to six times. You want to get it wet. They just send you down. There we go. This knot has never failed me. Well, I want to say never, but you know what I mean. It's only failed me when I wanted it to. See so if I got hung up on oysters or something like that, and I just pulled it to break it. There we go. Woody cork. Philip Taco Company Woody Cork Voodoo Shrimp H2 Express Ethos Rod and Rail Combo Wish me luck, hopefully Hopefully this is what they want because they have been eluding us Good pop Fish on, this is my first bite of the day, believe it or not. I am not too sure how to adjust my drag. Had to drop my anchor real quick. This fish is pulling me over some reefs, so I just wanted to drop it real quick. It is pulling me on a bit of a Texas sleigh ride. I am not too sure if this is a bull red, or maybe even a gar. We saw a few gars hitting on the top water, hitting on top surface. It might even be a big ugly, because we saw a few tailing in the channel behind us. I keep looking for Mike. He's a little ahead of me. 
I'm really not too sure how I'm going to land this. I recently injured my shoulder. A few days ago, I couldn't even lift my arm. So right about now, it's killing me pretty bad. I'm kind of babying this fish. I know it's a big fish. It's a good fish. I have 15 pound braid and around 15 pounds of fluorocarbon. So I want to baby it. I don't want to break my line and I don't want to pop a knot. This is the biggest thing I've ever had on this rod and reel combination. And this rod and reel feel great. It's super smooth, cast great, and it is just fighting this this fish without any issues at all. Yep, just confirmed it is a big ugly. It's been quite a while since I've caught one of these. And this is the first time I've caught one out of my kayak. Yep, it is a big ugly. Mike, where'd you go? I got a big ugly. I'm trying to keep him out of my anchor line. We are only in about two feet of water and he is just dragging me all over the place. I am trying to figure out, I might be able to net this guy. He is big, way too big for me to try to net. I'm really thinking, you know, I might have to get out of my kayak to land this guy. Let me get my lippers out. Let me see. I know my lippers aren't the best lippers in the world, but I'm going to see if I can grab them with these lippers. Just as I thought, the lippers aren't strong enough. And honestly, I was afraid to roll the kayak. I thought about grabbing him by his gill. I was just too afraid that I didn't have enough strength left in my arm to be able to lift him out of the water with one arm. My shoulder feels like a limp noodle. Feels like it's getting ready to fall off. <clears throat> my shoulder's killing me so bad, my hands are shaking. Oh my gosh! This thing is massive. I just hurt my shoulder, so I can't lift them like I normally would. Come here! Ah, I caught a little fish! Ah. 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 Oh my gosh! Voodoo shrimp, baby! Ah. Woody's cork? Voodoo shrimp. Woo! <laughs> it's got wore me out. 
Oh man, eat those. Eight to express. Ugh. You get him? Is he in the picture? Yeah. Do we turn him? No, no, turn him the other way. This way? Yeah, right here. Got it? Yeah. Ugh. There we go. Golly, that hook wasn't going anywhere. Oh, dang it, he swam off like it was nothing. Nope, there he goes. Oh my gosh. All right, so that's pretty much gonna do it for me today. Came out with Mike, Texas Fishing Force. We came out to explore some new marshes. And you know what, there was a lot of fish in the water. There was, a, actually there was a lot of bait in the water. There was some reds out there. Uh, Mike, Mike uh, did hook up to a couple specks out here too, but you know the fish just weren't biting we have a very low forecast percent bite forecast percent today so i know that played a factor with it but like i said came out today enjoyed a friend of mine mike's enjoyed his company hung out a little bit oh look there's a bee on my hand how cool is that hope he doesn't bite me but yeah my little friend the bee here but yeah i was able to hook up to a big ugly which is freaking awesome you know i've been years since i've caught one of those things never caught one on a kayak never caught one on artificial so i did catch that on a voodoo shrimp with a woody's cork and using ethos h2 express rod and reel combo but what can i say you know it was a great day had a lot of fun didn't catch a number of fish that we were hoping but still a beautiful day still came out here and explored new waters don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you have them below. Also, head over and check out Texas Fishing Force YouTube channel if you haven't done already. But until next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.